Zanzibar is known for its beautiful beaches and tourism, but there's definitely a lot more to know about this beautiful island. Actually, Zanzibar is not just one island, but it's made of an archipelago of islands. There's actually two large islands. One is Zanzibar or Unguja, the actual original name. And the second one is Pemba Island. There's also several smaller ones. Zanzibar is located in the Indian Ocean on the east coast of Africa and it is actually part of Tanzania. It is an autonomous region of Tanzania and it has its own president and its own government called, called the Revolutionary Government of Zanzibar. The capital of Zanzibar is Zanzibar City, but there's also a second, a second large city with a lot to offer called Stone Town. Originally, Zanzibar was populated by the Bantu Adimo and the Tumbatu people. They were the original first permanent resident of Zanzibar. But because of its geographical location, Zanzibar was on the path of ships coming from many different areas. For that reason, Zanzibar became home of a lot of different cultures, a lot of different people from different origin. Arabs, Persian, British, Portuguese, all called Zanzibar home at some point. The Persian and Arabic influence is still seen today in Zanzibar through the food and also some of the names the population is using. For example, Zanzibar still used the term Shirazi to call his local population. And actually Shiraz is the name of the town of most of the Persian who immigrated to Zanzibar in the 10th century. Zanzibar was part of the Portuguese empire starting around 1504, but it wasn't really treated as a colony. It was more, it was mostly used for economic purposes, not political purposes. So the local sultan had a lot of autonomy as far as the political state of the region. Indeed, a sultan was overseeing the region. The region was central to the slave trade and also the ivory trade. A lot of Arabs would pass through or use Zanzibar as a port to ship slaves to the Americas. And also ivory was moved from inner Africa all the way to Tanzania and then to the island of Zanzibar and shipped to many different areas of the world. Around 1890, Zanzibar became a British protectorate. The Portuguese never fully made Zanzibar part of their empire and with time after they were basically done using it for the economical purposes that they wanted, the British took over. But the British also didn't make Zanzibar a colony, they made it a protectorate that was part of the Commonwealth. They pushed the Sultan to abolish slavery, which was done slowly over the course of time. Zanzibar stayed a British protectorate all the way till 1963. At that time, the country became a constitutional monarchy, but that didn't last really long because of the Zanzibar revolution. Only a month after that ended the reign of the Sultan, and Zanzibar became the People's Republic of Zanzibar under a socialist government. In 1964, Zanzibar with Pemba Island and the other island in the area joined Tanganyika, which is mainland Tanzania, to become Tanzania. The main spoken languages of Zanzibar are Swahili, Arabic and English. The population is only around a million and the main religion is Islam, which is actually practiced by 99% of the population. Zanzibar is mostly known for its tourism because of the fact that the government put in place promotion tactics to attract tourists. The average number of tourists in Zanzibar grew from 19,000 in 1985 to 376,000 in 2016. Today, tourism make up 25% of the country's economy. Even with the lucrative agricultural export, tourism is still really high on top of the main source of revenue in Zanzibar. For that reason, the pandemic had a great impact, a great negative impact on the economy. 
because of the decline of tourism. Zanzibar is also home of some of the rarest creatures in the world. There's three creatures that are called Zanzibar home, the red Columbus monkey, the silver line genet, and the Zanzibar leopard. The red Columbus monkey is an endangered species and its population is constantly decreasing. The silver line genet was only discovered in the 1990s and was first pictured in 2003. The Zanzibar leopard is extinct. Although there's been rumor of potential sightseeing, there's not been any official picture or sightseeing of the animal. The country is also rich in coral and one of the main touristic attraction is the ocean safari. Stone Town, another major city of Zanzibar, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is known for its elaborate wood carving. Those carving can actually be found on many doors, well actually most of the doors in the city, and they usually reflect social status, ethnicity, or religion. A lot of them actually have current verses engraved on them. Another main attraction of Zanzibar or activity of Zanzibar are the spice farms. Yes, in my research I've discovered that a major part of Zanzibar economy are its spices. They grow cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon and black pepper are grown in Zanzibar and you can actually visit the farm, smell and try many of their spices if you decide to visit. One fun fact that I found was that Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of Queen, was born in Zanzibar. Zanzibar is actually one of the countries that have changed flag the most. Since 1856, they've changed the flags over six times. The current flag was only adopted 17 years ago in 2005. These are some of the fun facts and historical facts that I found about Zanzibar. If you want to know more about the country, let me know your question and comment below. Shout out to the person who asked about Zanzibar. I hope that you've had most of your question answers. And if you want to know more, let me know. Thank you so much. Bye.